everyone, it's Dee Dee from Vibes That Heal, and today I'm actually on here to do an Ask Dee Dee video. I only did one four years ago, but I just realized it's like the most viewed video on my spiritual channel, which is hilarious because the only Ask Dee Dee question I've ever did was like non-spiritual, but I'm realizing like people want spiritual answers to Ooh. things that happen in reality and that's okay. So this is my Ask DD series and today I'm gonna be answering the question, women who still take in men, what do I think about this? Um, usually when I think about stuff, I try to think about it from a spiritual perspective or just from what I have gained because you guys, I'm really into alchemy, the law of attraction. I don't, I don't really like pay attention to real world relationships especially like real people so like if i do hear about a relationship it's a celebrity and i don't usually talk about celebrities like that so i'm going to answer what i think about women who still take him in because i guess this is interesting to see like is she gonna look at it from the 3d perspective or from like a higher perspective and like i'm human so i can see all sides so do i think a man could be stolen i would say Okay, if he just had a newborn child, yes, he can be stolen. Because, like, let's be real, it's not fun the first year of a child's life. So, if you're taking a man who just started a family, yes, that is stealing. Because everybody knows <laughs> that kids change relationships. So, I usually don't think men could be stolen. But, if he just had a family and you swooped in pretty much like a celeb that was trending a few months ago um not gonna say her name but <laughs> yeah so yeah i don't think men could be stolen but i think they can be like temp tempted away when the relationships gets hard and if you are into spirituality you know that men on earth have a harder time overcoming their lower nature they can do it it takes a lot of effort which the average man is not gonna do but they can overcome it but most of them won't because like I said, it takes a lot of hard work. Most women will fall to their lower nature before men rise higher to their higher nature. And yeah, it's okay. It's not good or bad. It just is what it is. Some men will evolve in this lifetime. Some men will come back many lifetimes and try again. But yes, women who still take men outside of them just starting a family, cause it's pathetic. I will just say men who are just starting families are probably the easier to steal. The woman has to focus on the kid, so of course he has energy. If he's not helping her with the kid, of course he has the energy to entertain another woman. Therefore, he's easier to steal during that time. I think there are phases in relationships that make it easier to lure a man away. But again, it is what it is. Like, Do you want a man that you stole from a woman when she was literally getting out of the hospital bed with her newborn like that's definitely something you're going to have to worry about if you have children with this man <laughs> because like i said it is easier to steal them when they are going through intense levels of stress having a newborn child is stress getting married is stress so unfortunately it is easier to tempt these men during stressful times in their life but do you want to do that and some women will say yes because some women just need that assistance and you know it is what it is we live in a patriarchy so women are always going to be in need as long as we live under this system so that includes taking men are going to be a commodity but that's also why i am a believer in the woman having the power in the relationship because <laughs> um clearly they gravitate towards things that are for the family which means that if they get screwed they're just screwed because again gravitating towards the newborn child in a dog eat dog world that's going to hinder you because don't nobody care about your newborn child but you and hopefully the man you had the newborn child with but that's not always guaranteed so that's what i had to say about women who take married men and i guess I should look at it from another perspective as well so if there is no newborn child in the mix so taking a man in a committed relationship um that's always on the table you know i encourage 
everyone to read about men and women and their natures and you'll kind of see why the world looks the way it does especially under this patriarchal system because there are things that men are going through that women are not going through and it leads to a lot of suffering um a lot of men aren't gonna tell you that they are attached if they want you and the men who do usually have a lot of leverage and they're assuming that leverage is going to be able to bring you in even if they are attached so I don't think about women when I think of a men being taken because it's in their nature to always be on the move I actually think it's up to the man to work to stay in the relationship because it's a part of their nature to go 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 masculine energy is always on the go it's usually in their older years that they feel the need to slow down and settle down and even then <laughs> their natural energy is to always be on the move so as long as they're able to feel desire they are going to be moved by it and this is why i tell women the game don't stop until he did or you know what i mean that like, you live longer for a reason the game doesn't stop until he's in the in the ground like as long as he's alive and able body all is fair and love and war so i'm always like as long as you're alive there's work to do there are things to learn there are experiences to be had to ask me this question about women who still take him in shows that you're already spending a lot of time thinking about men women who center their lives around men are going to be miserable in the end because men are here to overcome their lower nature. You may be collateral damage to a man trying to overcome his lower nature. That's why I say the power should be with the woman because the man's gonna go where he wants to go. So that's why I also encourage listening to men when they speak because most men, <laughs> you know, like it, sl it slips through the cracks, you know, like if a man is taken. That's something that your spirit guides are trying to bring to your attention. Whether you're able to sense it or not, it's up to you. So that's why I say, and if you're male identified, like if, like what men think, takes up a lot of your mental space you will miss the size because patriarchy literally pushes women to ignore their intuition it tells women to believe what they hear from men versus what they see with their own eyes like i have seen women who grew up only seeing the worst sides of masculine energy still be suspicious of female energy and will give benefit of the doubt to masculine energy men so that's what i mean where i'm like it don't even matter what i think about women who still men because as long as a man doesn't want to be somewhere, he's going to go. So that's kind of how I look at it. And the only person who can keep a man still is himself. Like, temporarily a wife may be able to keep a man still or a new girlfriend. But even then, like, it's literally up to the man to keep the relationship going, in my opinion. They have to inspire themselves to want to be somewhere you're putting too much onus on the women who are taking these men and not enough on the men because we can only control ourselves and this is something i had to learn too but we can only control ourselves which is why i think it would help women to learn about men's real nature so that they don't even care about questions like these because the man who's for you gonna fight tooth and nail to stay for you. <laughs> so, that's literally what I think. And I think, yeah, most men are just here to try to overcome their lower nature. And yeah, most of women, us, like every, most of us are just collateral damage to that, which is why I try to tell women to focus on themselves. Because it's hard to be collateral damage to someone you're not even on the same level with like you're vibrating too high to get caught in the crossfire of that unless it's like a freak incident and you just happen to be out somewhere but usually that's why i encourage women to focus on self focus on their children if you have them and the man who is for you will he will just i'm here like <laughs> you don't have to do anything like i'm here so that's what i think 
of this whole woman who's still taking men. Men are energy and motion, they're gonna go, but it is possible for them to stay, but that's usually something they have to come to a decision about themselves. And unfortunately, children won't change that, begging on your knees won't change that, their mama won't change that, their sister won't change that, their female relatives won't change that if that is what they want to do. If being on the move is what they want to do, that's what they want to do. And the only thing that you can do is focus on self because that's what men do. They're focusing on self, which is why it's so hard for them to sit still. And yeah, that's what I think. I don't feel negatively towards women who take married men or taken men because what did you really lose? <laughs> Like, he was gonna be taken anyway. So that's how I look at that. And this is why it's always good to have a strong support system of women. Because, like I said, the man that's for you is gonna want to be there. And the sisterhood, as long as you guys are not centering men, will always be able to ride it out. That's why your default setting is to call one of your girlfriends or your sister or your mama or your long lost cousin aunt. Because it's just something... It's just something we do. Like, we, we know that a woman's heartbreak can really only be understood by another woman. So, that's all I have to say. And yes, this was Axe Didi. I'll do more of these since these are more popular than the actual spiritual videos. And I get it because it's more entertaining and, and it takes place in the 3D. You know, relationships are all about being in the physical. So I get that. And yeah, again, I'm Didi for Vice That Heal and I'll see you all in the next video.